Since the early days of cave paintings, art has brought us together. And right here in Victoria, we're lucky to have someone that donates their time, their talent, and their ability towards trying to better Victoria and better our community. Free Art Victoria. He's a talented local artist that likes to help, give back, and he does it all for free. And I've got a special project that needs some help that I feel like he's the right man for the job. Let's go and meet him. When you think digital marketing, think ThriveFuel. Websites, social media marketing, advertising, and much more. Thrive Fuel is professional digital marketing. Welcome to Meet Victoria, where we'll get to know the people, businesses, and heroes that make this community special. I'm Caleb Shaw, owner of Shaw Realty and your host. Now let's go meet Victoria. Thanks so much for having me, man. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to learn more about what you do and some more of your work. But I'm also excited to get your help, help on this pumpkin because I got a few ideas, but I don't think I can pull it off without your help. So, man, thank you for uh, inviting me. I'm excited to work on this pumpkin with you today. Let's get after it, brother. All right, man. So I've got a few ideas here. You know, I, I kind of want to bring community into this. I, of course, we want to highlight the Children's Discovery Museum. We want to get that out there. It's their big event. But also, I was thinking about bringing in the community. You know, I want to bring some of my friends that are business owners, some of our great sponsors, you know, Cryo Depot, Furniture Warehouse, um, you know, all these great people, Schrader Hall, that, that really help us out. And, and But I, I want to put a little twist on there, man, with the, with the, the Golden Crescent or with the uh, museum. I want to have a bat symbol on there. But Batman's not the coolest. Superman's the coolest. And we kind of do the Superman thing. So I was thinking of converting it to from Batman to meet Victoria and just kind of being extra super cool. And, and no pressure, but I need you to win this thing. I'm down, man. I'm excited. Um, I love the community aspect of what you're talking about. Um, that's really my drive is to make sure that art gets out in the community. So I'm honored to be a part of something like this. And this is right up my alley. I, I enjoy um, painting unique things. Um, and this time I'm not dropping it off on to, for people to pick it up. I'm, we're trying to make money for charity. So, Absolutely, which brother. Which is, is a great uh, whole, it's a really great uh, opportunity for exposure for all these business, great businesses that are your sponsors and also for the Children's Discovery Museum. Absolutely. Well, let's get to work, man. I hear you got some ideas. Show me kind of what you're thinking and what's, what's your process of doing this. So I really don't try to, to go into too much detail when I sketch things out. A lot of it needs to be organic for me. Um, I actually did this this morning, just a really quick community shot. Uh, I'm going to do some um, great landscapes on the bottom of it real quick. Something very simple and to the point. Uh, I'd love to get any of those uh, pieces in there that you're talking about, adding a little bit more uh, of those details that you're saying with the sponsored logos, uh, the Children's Discovery Museum. I have a shot of the courthouse that I can put in there if you'd like. Um, and then we'll do some clouds and make it look a little more fun with uh, some of the beautiful sunsets that we have uh, in Victoria. Yeah, man. And, and, and again, I'm just I'm blown away. And, and kind of the way I ever ended up even sitting here was just seeing your work all around town and 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 i really had to to work to figure out who you were because it you know you you don't sign your work and and you're you're very humble about it and and but it's it's great work and and so i'm, I'm really excited to see you put your talent into play and, and help me win this contest and and celebrate victoria and some of these businesses and stuff so man let's let's get after it let's Sounds go make it good, happen man. let's do it all right man i'm just gonna jump right back into this and and first and foremost again thank you so much i've had a ton of fun and 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 i appreciate your help because i feel pretty confident we're gonna win but i wanted to use this opportunity while you while we are doing this pumpkin here um to kind of learn a little bit more about you and 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 all of that and and again we already kind of touched on how humble you are about things and i don't ever see your name out there and and all of that so for those that don't know you and the ones that aren't aware of who you are please introduce yourself um, so my name is Josh Vega. Um, I'm local native, so I've been in Victoria for most of my life. Um, I've been painting for a good portion of my life, I would say 25 years. Um, started out writing graffiti, like doing the lettering and um, kind of just doodling, I would say. Um, as for a those of us that are ignorant like, like yeah. me, graffiti lettering, you know, first thing I think about is those cool train cars when you're sitting yeah. at a train stop and, and they go through and they just have... 
these this awesome pieces of work down the side of these train cars and stuff and a lot of it's words that are just written you know for lack of a better term super cool you yeah. know and mm -hmm. and would that be a good example of graffiti lettering yeah yeah and it, and it evolves now for me it's more about fonts for me i enjoy just um, typography just lettering in general but my start out was that you know somebody gave me an alphabet and I asked for one um, a long time ago, and I just started creating my own alphabet out of those lettering. And after a while, you start to see lettering in a different way. Uh, and that's kind of it been my biggest drive is I, I enjoy um, the freestyle side of graffiti where you don't really have a sketch sometimes. You just go out there and, and you just start painting. And that, that is what I do with my art now is a lot of times I don't have that much time to create art, uh, so I use it wisely and I um, get around the the aspect of doodling like I did when I was a kid, uh, and I just go out there and organically make stuff, and um, a lot of what you see whenever I post it and drop it off um, for Free Art Victoria is, is that. It's just something in the moment. It took me maybe an hour and a half, two hours to make, and it was enough for me. It gave me a lot of uh, um, fulfillment just from doing that little piece of art. Uh, it was very natural, and I really enjoy that part of the art is more of a, a ritual person. I'm more of a ritual person than an actual process person. Uh, I don't really care about the outcome. I care about creating. So um, that helps me tremendously whenever I'm, I'm doing any kind of artwork. Is um, If I'm there painting, um, it feels like a therapeutic moment for me, and I almost don't want it to end. Um, so that's why I create so much. It, it allows me that... Uh, that freedom and that that time to to be with with something that I love so dearly and it really so it really is it's not so much work for you it's more of an escape you mm -hmm. know because mm -hmm. this isn't your job this isn't what mm -hmm. you do I mean you have a real full-time job that you mm -hmm. go to every day and and this is where you get to let that release go and 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 just find some solace and and you know and what's what's neat about that I think is is how you end you know how did you end up here how do you go from you know, figuring out you have all this talent and ability and, and, and potential to be a commissioned artist, to potential to be like this your living. How do you end up not doing that? And how do you end up with a full-time job and, and still get to make it a passion? And, and how do you grow that, to take it a step further, how do you grow that into Free Art Victoria? Like, how did, how did that all come about? So Free Art Victoria came out, um, I would say, almost nine years ago, so eight years. It's been around for a while. Um, and it came about because I was doing commission work and I got really tired of people telling me what to paint uh, and it sounds negative but um, I feel like artists should have the freedom to paint as they feel um, I would say you know going to an artist and telling them what to paint um, it kind of goes against what the artist is supposed to be doing the artist is supposed to be the advocate for um, freedom and that culture is is a big part of what I enjoy about painting is the freedom to do um, something that it's in my mind or something that I I've created and I'm so excited about it I want to get it out to the public um, so I stopped doing commission work and I just started painting things that I wanted to paint or just creating really fast pieces uh, and dropping them off and you know at first people didn't know what it was and and some of the early work was pretty elementary and I just wanted it it was almost like a thrill I would go out in the public and and drop stuff off and then people would start to to, to pay attention to it and they would go pick it up and it was super exciting to see them excited about it and then I started to get a little bit of a following and I did that for years uh, and they were called art drops and people would would collect them almost um, and I would I would venture off and do different things but really it was about how I felt at the moment that got me excited about the next piece of work that I was doing um, and then now it's, it's grown into more events more community outreach murals, we do First Fridays, um, we do uh, these events that, that showcase local artists and all that is, is more than enough for me to keep me excited about what I'm doing. So um, I think Free Art Victoria is going to continue to evolve. Um, it just, uh, as long as it makes me feel fulfilled, I'm good with it. Uh, it, it. I don't think it'll never grow into something that is my main source of income since I do have a job that is, uh, is very uh, demanding. Uh, this is more than a hobby but also I like that I can turn it off and on, and it doesn't consume my whole day. It, it's it's an out it's an outlet for me to to get um, my exercise out. Almost art, art is an exercise sometimes to me. No, I think that's brilliant, and, and I'm going to reach over here and grab something mm -hmm. because I think you came up with one of the most Victoria pieces of art I have 
ever seen since I've lived in this town. You know, we, we have the courthouse, we have downtown, we have all these things, but we also have Brother Gary Moses. And out of all the things that you've done, and, and you've done some, some incredible stuff, but talk about hitting the nail on the head and just capturing a town in, in, in one piece of work. I felt you did so with this amazing pen right here of, of, of Brother Gary Moses. This was a masterpiece, brother. Like, <laughs> the first time I saw this thing, like, one, I think I laughed for about 10 minutes. Not yeah. at it, but with it, because it was brilliant. Like, good Lord, you nailed it. Like, you, you just nailed it. And for anybody from Victoria, you know, there's Brother Gary Moses, and, and he is a part of everything. I mean, we're, we're beating him in this pumpkin contest. He's one of the people that, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to beat you, Brother Gary. Love you, but we're <laughs> going to beat you. But this, man, like, I one. I thought this was really special for him. You know, like I, I thought it was really cool that this, I don't envy this man. He he is at every single event in this town, started like five in the morning, everywhere, all the time. But I felt like you gave him something special when you, when you did this. Like you, he hands these things out and he hands them out with love and he gives them to people and he's so proud of them and he brags about you. But man, I just I cannot commend you enough on this. I think you just hit the a gold mine. Like the, you nailed it, man. This is a bullseye right here. And so, I just want to say congrats on this thing. Like that, I love these, man. I I think these are just perfect. You you nailed it. How did the brother Gary? How, how did you get this? Like how did this happen right here? So I I actually didn't know brother Gary too well. Of course, he knows everyone. Um, but I didn't know him too well before I made that pen. But I sketched out um, an idea for something so i just created this bust of brother gary the, the face that you see there and that design and and i got in contact with a couple of people that know him really well um and i asked for his blessing i said i want to make a pen of him uh, and i think i'm big on giving people flowers while they're here so if somebody helps me or somebody creates something for me i want to tell them as much as i can mm -hmm. how much they mean to me and for him i think everybody um really appreciates what he does as an advocate for victoria um, especially the, just the drive he has. He doesn't have social media. Mm -hmm. um, he only drinks Sunny D. Like, there's all these things that he does that, um, I mean, you never see him without a, a press shirt. You always see him on. And I think that's a, a really great um, visual for our community is if you see all the positive that we do, he's the beacon of positive. Mm -hmm. um, so reached out to him, talked to him, got his blessing. Um, he was not for it at first. He was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean, <laughs> pin? Um, showed him the idea. Then I showed him the proof, and then he was on board. And then I told him, let's do something for the community. So whatever money we raise from here, 100% of the proceeds go to a local charity. And then he was like, yeah, let's do it. He was on it. So we were able to raise about four grand for CASA, for the food bank, um, for just different charities. And every time that we did an event or we sold them, we would go and, and we would you know do the check signing and do the photo and that's his thing he's a photo op guy mm -hmm. he loves it so much and i could i can't remember exactly how much we sold the first event but it was at a local business and he he was there an hour before me and i was going to give him 10 so he can give out and he said we'll sell them don't worry about it he'll give me back later and it wasn't even a fun event because he the whole time he was selling them so it wasn't even like giving him his flowers. He mm -hmm. was on show. Mm -hmm. And I was just standing back watching this guy going and going and going. And we sold all of them in a matter of like two hours. Um, and at the end of it, he was like, let's do it again. It, 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 at, at no time did he slow down. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, this is how he is. I mean, let's do it. So that kept going. And to this day, we still buy them and he still gives them out almost like business cards. Mm -hmm. um, and I, every now and then I see him around town and, and like somebody at a Dairy Queen would have it on their hat. Or you go to a, a local place and somebody's wearing it on their, like an event, and they're wearing mm -hmm. it on their jean jacket. And it's really cool. And, and we'll continue to push those out because I think people love them and, and he loves giving them out. Yeah. No, I, man, again, uh, I, I'm a huge fan of all your work. But, but this was just, I felt like so many worlds came together in the middle of this one. Like, it, it, it was just perfect. And so, yeah, he, uh, he came on our show. And when he came in, you know, we, we had to have him in our studio to make it official, you know, because it's not official unless Brother Gary Moses gets there. But he came over and he gave us one on set that day. And and uh, he was just proud of it, man. He was proud of it. He was proud of you. And, and so I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. Where do you go from here? Like, what are your what are your plans? You know, what are you? I know this is a hobby. I know mm -hmm. it's something that is an outlet. Um but it also seems like something that's going to organically grow because you just can't have this much talent and 
just talent and it not go anywhere, I feel like, because unless you choose for it not to, yeah. you know, um, which is, again, the beauty of keeping it a passion instead of that's one of the things I like about this show is we're not beholden to anybody but ourselves. We do this because we want to get back to the community. We do this for fun, but we can also take a break if we need to. You yeah, know? Yeah, and yeah. we have it yet, but we could, you know, yeah. and, and that's that's the neat part about it. And so where do you go from here? For me, I think uh, it's all about community outreach, uh, community art. So more murals. We have projects going on that are in the works with the city. Um, we want to beautify Main Street. We want to beautify downtown. We want to beautify Victoria. And I think a lot of it needs to be understood. So I think that's where my journey now is, is to make sure that people understand that public art doesn't have to be something against what they like. I think public art can be for everyone. So just because a wall is painted doesn't mean it needs to be to one's liking. It could be for the community. We can all agree on it. Um, and all these different projects that we have going on are going to show that. And I think I've learned a lot about how to get out there and put my face behind stuff without the fear of people wanting a lot out of me. Because uh, that would be my, my biggest worry about being an artist and not not doing it for commission work or, or, or even doing it for commission work is um, I would be letting people down if I couldn't um, hit their deadline for something that was important to them or a gift or something. So now um, my rules have not changed um, and I'm, I'm more open to talking to people about doing collaborative work, but a lot of that collaborative work needs to speak volumes and needs to go um, and reach as many people as possible. So. I'm more about murals, uh, and I'm also more about artist advocacy, so I want to make sure that what I do for other artists um, also is, is, is building them a platform of a place to, to show their work and, and put Victoria on the map as one of those communities that artists can, can be seen and heard, and, uh, and I think Free Art Victoria is a beacon for that. Did you get to participate in the uh, the downtown art walk and, and all that? Yeah, so the first art walk was a, a, a great collaboration between me and all the officials for that, that helped put those on. Um, and I think it's, it's a beautiful thing. I, I was blown away because uh, we were doing First Fridays at, at Moonshine downtown, me and um, a good friend of mine, Jen Robles. She, she actually got me out there. Um, I didn't know her until last year, and now I consider somebody that actually helped create Free Art Victoria into something more because... She challenged me to, hey, we need to get your stuff out there, you know. And whenever we did that first Friday, it was it was in March and it was on a 24-hour notice, and there was barely anyone there. And then I think the first art walk was in June, uh, or something around there, and it was massive. And the, to be a part of that with uh, with some of those officials that helped put it together was amazing. And for me, I think that's where um, a lot of what I do is the most fulfilling is seeing some of the work that I've, I've put in, uh, not, not be, you know, purely behind Free Art Victoria, but other communities um, coming together and like the Main Street Program and the Victoria Art League and all of them um, having these events and knowing that, you know, at, at any time I'm welcome and I can be a part of that easily without, uh, without any worries about, you know, needing to do something that was out of my comfort zone. Yeah, no, and that makes total sense, and and that's that's a cool point you you mentioned about the collaborations and stuff because that's one of the things that I've noticed is pretty neat is instead of all these different groups and and organizations and stuff trying to work independently of each other, they've kind of like locked arms and said, hey, you know, high tide raises all ships here, let's let's work together, you know. And so you do, you have Victoria Main Street program, you have the Nave, you have all these different art league, you know, all these people working together to to get something, and that's been neat for us because we're also getting to go in and. And film their stories of, of everybody, you know, I, I like seeing everybody join forces. And that's one, been one of these neat things is seeing, you know, you're meeting new people, like you said. You're, you know, a year ago you wouldn't have been doing this, but you meet somebody who appreciates what you're doing or like or vice mm -hmm. versa. And, and then, you know, iron sharpens iron and, and, and you, you, you get to grow from that. And I, I think that's that's really cool. And, and you know, and I've even gotten... As somebody, you know, I didn't pay a lot of attention to art when I was younger because I'm so terrible at it, you know, I mean, really bad. And, and but it's been neat to kind of walk into it, you know, like mm -hmm. ease into it as an adult and, and see like, man, there's a lot here. You know, there, there's a I don't have to be a good artist to have fun with this. I can go out and, and be terrible and still have a good time. 
and you know nobody's hanging my painting so i don't have to worry about <laughs> that kind of stuff it's it can just be fun you know and, mm -hmm. and so um what am i forgetting man I, i'm gonna i'm gonna shut up here in a few and 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 let you get back and we can wrap things up you know in a little while but is there anything that you want to get out there to the public that that i've glossed over or really haven't put an emphasis on for you the last thing you said was really great about making sure that people aren't afraid to be the artist that they feel comfortable being. Um, something to that note, like for me, I don't care if you've painted for 25 days or 25 years. If you paint, I want you to paint. I don't care if you're 7 or 70, does not matter to me. And that's what those first Fridays, those art walks are for. It's for every artist of all shapes and sizes and ages and everything to come out and be confident and be on show and be a part of an art show. Um, we don't have a lot of those free space galleries where you can go in and just show your work in Victoria. We have some really great museums, but a lot of those museums are for that reason. It's for somebody to show an artist that has a massive body of work. Um, that's what I think people can see the most at, at a First Friday or an art walk is all these people that have not been heard or seen before coming out and standing in front of their work in front of 500 people mm -hmm. um, and feeling like they're an artist and not just somebody that every now and then paints. Mm -hmm. um, but they also don't have to be the artist all the time. Uh, and that's makes where I, I feel the most comfortable is not always being the artist. I can go to my job and not have to be the artist. And I think that's what Free Art Victoria has given me is its ability to take my face away from it for most of the time and be um, the father, the husband, the, you know, the, the store director that I am uh, and not always I'll be on show uh, mm -hmm. and not always worried about is my art going to be seen by the public or is it going to be received by the public I could turn it off and on mm -hmm. uh, and then that's something that's for me and I think that's what I want for the art community is be yourself show your work be proud of it lift each other up um, and let's continue to discover more artists so we can show more and more and I think with that grows community opportunities for us to to create events that are so big mm -hmm. that all the local businesses get a part of it and we can be a destination for art. Mm -hmm. And we've only done it twice, and look at what we've done so far um, with these massive events. Um, let's continue to do that for each other, and I, I love that we're actually um, fulfilling some of those things by being collaborators versus um, being uh, competitors. Mm -hmm. No, I, man, I think that's brilliant, and I, I like the, the what you mentioned about the, the being able to turn it off, you know, because it, that way it stays a passion, and, and but then you, you've you've continued to grow and also maintain who you are in the same time and I think that that's mm -hmm. that that takes practice and it takes you know I know with like me Victoria and, and the the part that you mentioned about being okay if you know if everybody's not seeing it or, or mm -hmm. you know that was that was one of the things with this show is one you know or any of the shows that we do this or the the event show or any of them is you put yourself out there you know for for people to enjoy or to mock or to mm -hmm. whatever the case may be and everybody's got an opinion and every you know and some people have no problem trashing other people and doing all that and that was one of the things when we launched the show is you know one just getting used to everybody having an opinion on it but then also realizing, you know what, this is an out, we love what we're doing and we're, we're putting our passion into it. And, and, and at first it was like, man, why aren't people watching so that, you know, when we were first getting going and I just figured everybody was going to sit down and stop what they were doing every time to watch our show. And, and when it didn't happen, you know, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit mm -hmm. and it's why aren't they watching? And the more we've grown with this, the more I've just enjoyed this. And mm -hmm. this process and getting to be with my my crew and my, my my people making like that's the joy in it, you know, and if people like the product we put out even better. But, you know, it, it, to be able to find the artistic creativity to care, but also not care what people think. I mean, you do, but you don't, you know, and it's that mm -hmm. fine line. And, and once you're OK, knowing that not everybody's going to like what you do and all that and you can just put your passions into it, it seems to change things and it seems to make it a lot more fun like I you know I have my real job too and I'm very blessed in it and I love it but I look forward to these days I look mm -hmm. forward to the film days I look forward to getting to meet people like you and you know two years ago three years ago before we started the show I wouldn't be sitting in somebody's studio decorating a pump like this just yeah. wouldn't be part of my day but man I've met some cool people I've gotten to put on canine you know dog suits and, and had the the dogs come after me train with SWAT teams yeah. train with the fire department you know do all this fun stuff and and it's been kind of through helping others and mm -hmm. and by putting the spotlight on other people we're getting to explore our passions as well you know mm -hmm. and so it's a uh, yeah man and and shoot you picked me up as a fan that's how i'm in here is i just i started seeing your art drops and and was 
captivated by the fact that your name wasn't attached. Like that to me was everybody puts their name on everything, especially when they do it that good. You know, it's like I would have had a big probably a mural of me right next to it, so everybody <laughs> knew it was me that did it. You know, yeah. and and uh, so the fact that you were did like you just did it cool, man, and you did it in a way that it grew without you growing it, and it was organic, and I think that's pretty awesome and and. Uh, to be commended, man. It, I, it really I use, is. I use the term, like, I use the, the phrase, you don't have to get 100 on this test a lot. I tell people that all the time at my, my job. Um, what I mean by that is sometimes when you're at a, a larger scale compared to others, that 100 is, is impossible. So uh, meaning, like, people are going to view your content. You're not going to get every comment to be great. Some people are going to be against it. But the goal is not to get 100 on this test. The goal is to um, the test to never end. Like we want it to continue to grow, um, whether people like it or not. Um, and it's a reaction, no matter what, is, is a reaction, um, whether it's positive or negative. But it doesn't mean that it changes my, my scale of how I work. It just means that um, I didn't win that particular person over. But look at all the other people. Like imagine if there's 10,000 people in a, in a stadium cheering. I'm not going to stop because one guy's booing. You can't hear him. They're all cheering. Um, and and that's, <laughs> that's kind of how I, I, I live my life with that stuff is... Um, I don't want to be the face of my art. I want my art to speak for itself. So um, it, it's really fulfilling to know that I'm getting to a point where um, the art is more than me, um, and and I'm okay with that. I, I want the art to 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 talk to people, and and if I'm fortunate to start to be able to do that as well, like with with your show, then I'm good with that. But I never want it to be about um, my agenda. It's always about how how art, my art impacts people. Well, man, I, I think that was a, a just a, a wonderful button to put on this to 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 close up this portion right now, and and I'm just gonna sit here and, and watch you work. But but again, well done, man. Is is somebody who just has all the respect in the world for what you do, and and I'm a fan, and and even more so as I listen to you talk, like I man. I'm impressed, and, and I'm, I'm very blessed to be sitting here. And on that note, why don't we take a quick break from our sponsors, and we will be right back. Welcome to Furniture Warehouse Direct. I've got lots of furniture that we've just set back out. If you're needing something right away, come into the store, check it out. You can take right off the floor. We have Simmons Beautyrest, Simmons Hybrid, and we have Simmons Beautyrest Black. Our selection of bedroom sets right now, solid wood. We have some with self-closing drawers. We still carry a little bit of everything. We're budget friendly for every budget. We have financing options. We have leasing options. Check us out at FurnitureWarehouseDirect.com. And we're at 2110 John Stockbauer in Victoria, Texas. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm with my buddy, Free Art Victoria. You've seen his work around town. Well, now you get to see it at the Children's Discovery Museum. We're so glad to participate in their museum fundraising event, and we need your help. As you can tell, I've done some amazing work on this pumpkin. I'm kidding, I know an amazing guy that did some amazing work to help me on this pumpkin. But my buddy right here, Free Art Victoria, you've seen his work, now you get to see it here, come vote for us. We've got our Me Victoria bat logo on here, even though I'm a Superman guy. We've got the Children's Discovery Museum, Journey Church, Cryo Depot, Furniture Warehouse Direct, Third Coast Sanitation, Schrader Hall, Wallach and Volt, all of our sponsors here. We're asking for a dollar a vote. Thanks so much for tuning in to Meet Victoria with Caleb Shaw. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment below, share the videos, it really helps the algorithms. Also, make sure you like the page, follow the page. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, if you wanna be featured on Meet Victoria, shoot us a message, we'd love to hear from you. And finally, make sure you support our great sponsors. We could not do this without them and we're grateful and blessed to have them. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you at the next one.